Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. Today we're looking at Lone Wolf's Manor by Lone Wolf. We are right outside of Riverwood, just by the bridge as you can see there. And to get this place, it's 10,000 of your gold and you'll find a for sale board right here. Can't miss it. Well, you can now because it's gone, but you know, it was there. Check it out. This is a really popular spot for mods, I know, but you pay your money, you take your choice. This one is a great choice, I must say. Uh, it's got a water wheel, a bunch of soils, fishery. Look at that. The grain mill also works. That door will auto... There you go. <laughs> auto close. And it looks quite unimposing, doesn't it? But all the action is below ground. Stable, tanning rack. Very nice. Outdoor smithy. There's one indoors as well. So if it's a crappy day, then, you know, you don't have to come outside to do your crafting, which is great. Look at all these. Perfect. Whole bunch of soils here. That is going to look super when it's all planted up, especially with the beautiful cherry tree and the water. That is a really pretty effect. I like that a lot. Up here, we've got a dining area with a fireplace. Cooking pot. Lovely. Some dream catchers floating about. Not quite sure why, but <laughs> they add a nice bit of decoration, don't they? And then carrying on around the outside. Look at that. That is so colourful and pretty. And this lovely thing. I have an outdoor gazebo. Beautiful fire pit. All of these light, by the way, inside and out. That is great. Wind chimes and uh, an, what do you call that thing? Apiary. I don't know why I want to say Avery then. All right. So that's the outside. Beautiful. I'm very impressed with it. It's a traditional looking home. And don't you just love the fact that these wonderful mods are still being made? So Inigo's just chilling. He's been doing a bit of baking at the oven. There's a cooking pot here too. You can also activate the dining table or not. I've just cleared it. I'll take you down there in just a second. This is super nice. Also running water. All of the taps work. There's a butter churn there. Oh, and look at this, a light switch. <laughs> I was like, what's that glowy thing and why is it so dark in here? And that's why. Auto sort chest. Oh my goodness. And look at the table when it's all done up. Very nice. The, the lighting in here, by the way, beautiful. Really nice and cozy and warm looking. There's a teleport spell as well. Did I go past that? Inigo's got it right there. So uh, yeah, convenience. Okay, so you'll find light switches everywhere, and this is what I mean when I say it's all happening underground. Look at this huge central pool with literally everything coming off of it, all the different accommodations, etc. Alchemy and enchanting looking exquisite here. Colourful and pretty. There's also a staff enchanter we'll get to in a second. Isn't this so nice? Look at all the shrines too. Him popping out of the wall. I like the wall treatments. This stone looks nicely coloured. You know, it's pretty. Some mannequins. Okay, so which one's this? So this is the workshop. So here's your indoor forge. There's tons and tons of storage, so I'm not even going to bother mentioning it again. This is beautifully vented, look. As is the smelter. This ticks all the boxes, doesn't it? I know what you guys like. I know that, you know, the things that people complain about the most. Where's the bathroom? Why isn't the smelter vented? <laughs> These type of things. Uh, and this one covers all of that. Here's your bedroom. How nicely decorated. And again with the fireplace and the clicky lights. Fantastic wardrobes. And then... 
we go even further down. And this, this is the light switch for here. Look at that. That is so cool. I like the change. And that door. Beautiful. And this whole room. Look at it. And you can see straight away there's somewhere over there for claws, a paragons, all of your special things that you'd normally pick up. Dragon scrolls, etc. Wow, Thieves Guild stuff, some mannequins, weapon racks all over. Cool, eh? Love the colour in here. Wabberjack, etc. Dragonstone. Horn of Jürgen Klinsmann. Just ageing myself right there. Yeah, this is a really cool room. I like it a lot. It's beautifully done. I love all the colour. It's bright, it's cheery. And, you know, it's not massive, is it? It's not, like, overwhelmingly big. I appreciate that. All right, onwards. I like that everything closes behind you as well. That is nifty. Oh, and NPCs undress here or not, you know, depending on what you want. I, th I think the, dis the uh, default is not. Look at this. Beautiful little sitting area for people. The pool is... wow. Oh, I just noticed there's a little tap over there that I'd missed before. What have we got next? Okay, bathroom. Oh, this is such a nice bathroom. Look how lovely. Love all the little blue flowers. Everything works. Even a loo. <laughs> so, all you bathroom lovers, you've got everything you need. Double sinks. One for me, one for Inigo. And a bath. You can turn on the splash. How lovely. So yeah, great bathroom. All right, children, six for the use of. Toys, books, artwork. How lovely. I like these little rondelles as well. They're really nice, aren't they? Nice colour. Nice pattern. Beautiful floral arrangements. A big bar. Oh, you could fill this place up, especially imagine actually having six kids here and followers. I can't even remember how many followers you could have. Look. What is this, 12? Very nice. I mean, it's wasted on me because it's always just me and Inigo, but uh, yeah, if you're someone who likes to collect followers and wants them to be in a safe and secure place with tons of stuff to do, then this is, you know, perfect. Staff Enchanter, game with all the lovely deco, the uh, stones right there. How fab? That's what happens. Oh. Oh, cool. Oh, how nice. Well, I love this place. <laughs> There's alchemy and enchanting right there, too. And somewhere to search for your weapons, armor, heavy armor, etc. So lovely. All right. Well, I think this is probably my favorite part of the house. Um,. I just love all of the clickies in it. I think it's been beautifully put together. I'm going to leave you with that fantastic view. Call that the end of this wee video. Do let me know what you think about it down in the comments. And I will see you soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe, everybody.